Hi, Maria. Well, lots of people showed up today to the city's first annual volunteer fair. They brought the community together to volunteer and clean up here around City Hall, but also more than a dozen nonprofit organizations showed up, set up the booths you see behind me in order to recruit more volunteers. We invited lots of organizations. Fifteen said they would come today, I think. We have an additional one. And then um, we also have students and other volunteers who said we'd like to also volunteer. So they're here cleaning up the volleyball court, um, raking the dog park, and cleaning up our trails around the park here. We well, plan on uh, helping out at the dog park. We use the dog park almost every day, obviously to get the dogs exercise. So you know, felt a little uh, part of the community to help out in the in the parts in the uh, part of the park that we use the most. What we are is a community emergency response team in Palos Verdes, and we're an organization. It's all over the United States, and we provide training, approximately three weeks up at Marymount three Saturdays uh, plus CPR. Today we're signing up volunteers. Thinking of signing up for some volunteer activities. I am. I'm actually very interested in trying to help uh, the older senior citizens and whatnot on the Peninsula Village. I love the concept. Looking for senior volunteers and younger volunteers, intergenerational. We've been working on this concept for two years now. The village is allowing you to stay in your home as you age and then you help each other to have a very meaningful, happy life. You have more than a dozen booths here. We don't have time to go to each one, but you have an incredible um, representation of just ways people can get involved in the community. Talk about some of the groups that are here. Absolutely. We've got uh, Ride to Fly, which is a, a disabled horse equestrian, uh, kind of a therapy type of organization. We've got the Tree Musketeers here, which is a youth organization that, that provides trees for different communities. Uh, we've got Heal the Bay with CERT behind me. We've got the Sheriff's Department with the Posse uh, and a whole bunch more. So basically what Press Friends is, is we're a nonprofit organization and our goal is to teach newspaper writing to kids who don't get that same opportunity. So what we do is high school, middle school mentors like ourselves, we go to to schools in South Central, Lamita, San Pedro, and what we do is we introduce them to newspaper writing by doing like one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentoring. Well, our organization is uh, a fair trade uh, nonprofit store that is in Riviera Village. All of our products are made in developing countries, and all the artisans are paid a living wage where they live. So we're trying to get the word out about our organization, and we also uh, would like to get more volunteers because our store is run completely by volunteers. Well, I think the volunteer spirit that we see all around us right now speaks for itself. I mean, there's, there's a fit for anybody that has any sort of interest in, in participating and, and, uh, and helping some of these great organizations. I mean, it's a lot of fun. You get to meet your neighbors. You're making a difference in the, in the community. Enjoying it. I'm glad to help out and be a part of it. We're very fortunate to live here in this beautiful city and the beautiful scenery around us. Just want to help the community, get out there and do what we can for the everyone involved in the community and do something and give back a little bit. So. What kinds of things do you do for the Sheriff's Department? We do ride-alongs, community events, um, cleanups such as this, so anything to help the community. We all know that saying, many hands makes light work, and there were many hands working hard today, all in conjunction with National Volunteer Week, but we want to remind everyone that we can always volunteer all year round. Back to you, Maria, in the studio.